Good morning, John. Let's talk about screwing up today. The first summer I was in college, I worked at Walmart, and it was a weird experience. I made a lot of friends, cleaned up a lot of poop, but that is a story for a different day. My second summer out of college, I worked at a community access television station called Orange TV in Orlando, Florida. It was a pretty cool job. I got to do whatever. I did graphic design, I did camera operation, I did sound, and I learned a ton that is still relevant to my life today. Like, for example, that it does not matter what you know about lighting or screenwriting or cinematography, you are dirt if you don't know how to properly coil a cable. I also learned a thing or two about screwing up. Uh, my very first assignment at Orange TV, I went out and we were filming like this banquety thing. And I was on sound, and I could tell that the audio wasn't great. I, I didn't know for sure that something was going wrong, but I was pretty sure that it wasn't it wasn't right. Later, without me telling him about this, the camera operator checked the audio and was like, oh, that sounds real bad. It was on the onboard camera mic and not the handheld mic. So all the footage we'd taken at the beginning of the shoot was completely useless. He managed to not go off, which was impressive, instead just telling me, if something seems wrong, you should tell someone. Yeah! Good advice. So it was the year 2000. Back then, I was 19, 20 years old. I did not have great fashion sense. I still don't. Also, haircut. Ah! John, you know this. I wore a lot of thrift store clothes. One day, a fair ways into my short tenure at OTV, we were getting ready for a shoot in a parking garage. The shoot wasn't in the parking garage. We were shooting a community event at a... You don't care. The producer on this shoot was this little guy, but he was, like, super solid, and he had a mustache that was, like, perfect silver and, like, very strong on the bottom. As far as I was concerned, he'd been in TV since the beginning of time. I was very much respected him. We were just breaking from getting our instructions, uh, and he comes over to me and he pokes me in the shoulder and he says, Green, you outrank me. And I look down at where he's poking me in the shoulder, and it's a patch. And it looks like that. Turns out my producer was not always in television. He was, at one point, in the Air Force. I will never forget that. Green, you outrank me, that he said to me, because, like, it was 90% joke, but it was 10% frustration. The frustration with me, with society, I don't know. But I was horrified. Like, I knew that I was wearing a military jacket. I hadn't even really considered that it was once someone else's. I also wasn't worried about, like, stolen valor here. I don't think anybody was going to confuse me, a 19-year-old kid in two baggy jean shorts, for a master sergeant in the Air Force. And my producer wasn't concerned that I was portraying myself as a member of the military. He didn't think I was trying to fool anyone. But he had, like, opened my eyes a little bit to the fact that there were symbols on my body that I knew nothing about symbols that were part of other people's identity of their of their work of their pride and the, the sum total of everything i knew about that was that it looked cool i still don't know what a master sergeant is i didn't even know that the jacket i was wearing was from the air force it could have been any branch of the military and let's be honest like as a young lefty i a little bit looked down on that career path and yet i was wearing the jacket Cause it looked cool. John, I remember specifically that I kept that jacket for a little while, thinking I would probably wear it again at some point, but I didn't. Every time I looked at it, I thought, you know, what I know is that I don't know. Like, I don't know. When my producer poked me in the shoulder and gave me that 10% frustration, he had told me that something didn't seem right. And what that thing is, is not as simple as whether we're on the onboard camera mic or the handheld. It didn't mean I was a bad person. It just meant it was complicated, and I didn't really know what was up. And it turns out, there are other jackets in the world. So I wore one of those. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.